today's idea of getting all the little jobs um, done. So, yeah. attaching things to each other and finishing the blinds and painting and touching up. So, lots of jobs eventually get finished. And it's just a case of popping the blind in and it just clicks in. And it's done. Simple as that actually, really nice. And look how perfect that is. For yes. Perfect fit. <laughs> it's only these two front windows that fit absolutely perfectly though. Right. Yeah. But, but they are really good aren't they? Look. Yep. I love where they just sit. So the idea, did you mention on the last video about the idea was to put something here yeah. to, yeah, mm -hmm. to hold them in? Because I think that's like a, a rail, but just love the way they work. It's really good. Yep. So then this little clip, I'm going to try and do it. It's the first time I've done it. You so say you don't put... Just you, try and... Put it on it. like that. Put it on like that. That's it. That's it. And then you've got that pull all the way down. Beautiful. Pull all the way back up again. Lovely. Should we also just mention another video that we started to put in some wiring for our lights? Yep, just initial. Yeah, so we've just put in, yeah, as I've just said, yeah, we've just put in some wiring for the lights now, just to give us an idea of where things are going to be. We're going to put two lights, two lights about here in the middle of this window. The kitchen's going to be here, so this light will work on this kitchen surface. Then we're going to have two lights here, again for the same reason. Kitchen surface here and just nighttime lights. And then in the bedroom over there, we've got the wiring in place for our two lights in our bedroom. Yeah, quite little reading lights. Little reading lights, yeah. So that's good. So I've put the black film on to black it out. Then I'm insulating it with some leftover polystyrene. polystyrene. Thank you, couldn't think of the word. And just need to put this last piece doesn't snap and fits in. I think I've made it a bit tight. Yeah, still a bit. 
Yeah. You're quite a perfectionist for your cutting though, aren't you? So <laughs> yeah. you always make it just that little bit bigger and then it doesn't fit. Yeah, because you're so yeah. perfectionist. Oh well. I think it's just because I'm trying to fight with this. Yeah, do you want me to hold that and try and see if that's going to go in any better? Oh yeah, I see what you yeah. mean, it's going in now. Perfect, that's it. Yeah, Good. that's it. So, Oops. And then, um, then we need a big piece of wood, all in one piece, that will screw in all the way around, holding all of that in place, and um, that will be our headboard for the bed. So, private, cosy warm. Mm. Two yes. lights up there. Yep, then there'll be a couple of little reading lights here. Yeah. And on this side, we've got the. On this side. We've got the blind. Got the blind. Yeah. So that's so. all those blinds, all the um, hop valves are installed now. Yeah. We just have to do our other bits that are going to hold them in place. Yeah. Like a um, like a runner. Yeah. That will, because obviously the sides of the bus slope out down to this section here to the widest part. Yeah. So we just need something to... Because they're kind of hanging a little bit, as you can yeah, see from this angle, they're hanging straight. That's straight, yeah. So we need to kind of just pull them in with some runners, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to look really good. Yeah. All we need to think about... Am I in the shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is um, what we're going to do with the back windows. Yeah, which we haven't thought about at all. In any of this build, we've never thought about the back windows. Yeah, it's just been everything they else. Exist, they don't right exist. Thing. Yeah, so. but I love them. Really good, aren't they? Yeah, smart as. Smart as. Cool. That's been a good day. Have you shown your? Um, oh, yeah. I just go around and do like that. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, just down here on the floor. Elaine mentioned this on another video, how are we going to finish off this edging for the flooring. So yeah, so we've uh, picked up one of these, I can't think what they're called. Um, I think it's just a transition plate, isn't it? Transition plate, yeah. yeah. Uh, fitted perfectly, Elaine's done another perfect cut on the end there, which is really nice. And then, um, and then that's it. It's oh, definitely really coming good. together, isn't it? Yeah. So that's a lot of small niggly jobs that have all been done um, and it's made the build feel as though it's come on leaps and bounds in just today really. Definitely, just yeah. Just getting everything, lots of little bits finished off. Yeah. Getting the first just tentative where the wires are going to go. Yeah. Door dressings. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness me, we're getting there. So, it's looking really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to uh, our first trip. Yeah. Which doesn't seem too far away now, does it? Well, and now that everything's screwed in and held down. Yeah. We are almost. We're yeah. We're going to take the, the bus out just to get some of the bigger pieces of wood. Yeah. Um, Start. That, uh, we need for next week, so. Yeah. yeah.
looking right in the camera. Is that what you need to do? So what I've done is I've secured this thick um, upholstery webbing all the way around. You saw me screw it into the side of the kitchen. It comes down under the table. Then it's pulled up this side and then I've got some big velcros that I sewed onto the webbing to make it ultra strong. Let's see if I can get those off. Oh. Really tight. So I've put a long strip of Velcro on here. Double thick and that's attaching down the side, making a real tight connection here. Which if I'd been bothered to move the passenger seat, it would have been much easier to see. So just pulling it really tight and that's stopping any movement that's stopping any movement there and that way and what I may also do is I may put some a little track across the bottom under here just so it stops any sort of forward movement the legs of the table are screwed into side of the kitchen and then I have another one screwed on the inside of here sort of pulling in the opposite direction all secured in so as I said I've screwed in the leg from this side and from the kitchen side the back leg in that corner is also screwed into the kitchen um, and then we've got this webbing which goes all the way under the table up the side all the way around and the webbing as you saw is secured down between the fridge and the kitchen so it should all be very tight and safe. Hello everyone, it's Monday the 14th of February, so happy Valentine's Day everyone. Uh, just received um, a parcel I've been waiting for and I'm gonna take it out of the box. It's our cooktop. So we're having a two burner gas hob in the bus. And uh, it's arrived, so that's quite exciting. Here we go. Nice. Nice. 
comes with all of the little kit and it also has the valves and everything we need to swap out um, so you can use it with either natural gas or LPG as in our case but we will be getting somebody um, to install it for us. Really pleased with that. That's going to look really smart. All I need now is a worktop. Good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday the 15th of February and we've had a lot of rain. So this deceptively bright and sunny morning is cold and very windy. Um, what I did find after all of the rain is that one of our side windows has a very slight leak in it. So I've done a bit of investigating and I think I've found the cause and hopefully I've got a solution. It's this front window here behind the driver's seat and it is just ever so slight. Um, you might be able to see a slight discoloration where the grey carpet is damp but to be honest it just looks like a shadow so it took me quite a while but I did notice a tiny little trickle coming down this um, seal here on the inside so I think our problem is outside so I've got the ladder out I've been up and the seal just on this corner here does look as though it's started to wear it's probably the original um, bus and the original window so what I've done is I got a little old toothbrush in and I've given it all a good scrub then I've dried it all off and it literally does just look like this corner so what I'm going to do is I've got some sealant I'm going to start back here and I'm going to squeeze it in as tight as I can bring it all the way around and then all the way down the side here right down um, just to, to be sure that it's all sealed in right I hope you can see so what I what I'm doing is I'm slowly um, squeezing the sealant into the gap because it is quite deep it's probably you know, it could possibly be a centimetre deep in there um, so I'm just slowly going along and letting it sort of pump in so it goes right down inside because the, the actual level of the seal is somewhere down here so um, it's taken a while and it's a bit windy right so I've been going for what feels like ages in this wind I've got it from here all the way back to here and I've been letting it run in and down and then with my cloth, my damp cloth, I was poking it down and pushing it in. So that's as uh, freezing cold as I can stand for now. So I'm going to um, <laughs> go inside and get warmed up and have some lunch and then I'll come back and I'll do another layer and I'll bring it further down the side down this edge here just to be sure I think I've got it now so I started my beading of sealant here and I went all the way around and I brought it down to about here um, but actually I think when I did the inside bit I barely put any on the inside but there was so much sealant I think it had actually seeped in um, so I'm hoping that that's made a difference and that's going to sort that out so I thought I would just quickly show you what I have used um, on the window it's this Sudol Fixol now I chose it because it was the only one that was crystal and it was super clear so it's a bonding sealing um, agent um, some kind of hybrid polymer there you go um, I got it at B&Q 
We do have Sikaflex, which we used on the roof to seal up all the holes and everything there. But um, I didn't want the white, in case I made a mess of it, I didn't want the white Sikaflex being all over the window where the clear one would be much better. And so this one, according to B&Q, was actually the most expensive. It was about £11.73 for one tube, which is ridiculous. However, when I got to the till, there you go, it was only £2. So quite a winner. Unexpected. I thought I was going to have to pay out. And uh, I didn't. So hopefully that's a winner. Both ways, price-wise and fix-wise. 24 hours after sealing up the window we now have our next winter storm storm dudley i think it's called and i think hmm, can't tell on the camera but it's bone dry there's nothing running through and this bit down here <laughs> Are you checking it out too, Max? Please, come on, <laughs> let's have a look. And your butt. And this bit here is just slightly damp still from before, but um, nowhere near anything that it was before. And now we have lots of lovely soggy footprints. Never mind, hey Max? Never mind. You good lad?